almost a year ago to the day, I, yeah, I stopped sleeping. So one night I, I um, got severe diarrhea and um, I didn't sleep a wink that night. And it just continued. Every night I couldn't sleep for weeks and weeks. I think it must've been a whole month that I didn't sleep at all. Yeah, and it wasn't just not sleeping. Yeah. Like, it wasn't just like... I was exhausted. Your whole body would shake. My body would jump. And then you'd be awakened with adrenaline. With an adrenaline and rush. And could not fall back asleep. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Which is not what I think of when I think of insomnia. I think of someone just anxious and worried. Yeah, this I was, was not a physical anxious about thing. falling asleep. I, my body was so tired that it wanted me to sleep. So yeah, that was what happened a year ago. I went to uh, the ER and I went to urgent care twice and um, they had no idea. They talked to me about uh, sleep habits and making my room darker. Uh, and they were very unwilling to prescribe anything. The ER, doc ER doctor gave me three pills and was like, well, you get some sleep. Um, and I'm, it worked one time, it worked one night and it didn't work again after that. And by that time I had already come to Hope Clinic knowing that that was where the hope was, that I needed hope because not sleeping is not a real thing. And we started right away with everyone, with everyone, trying to figure out what was going on. Um, and clearly with some form of inflammation and um, that acute symptom of not being able to sleep has been the thorn in my side for the last year, but it is getting better and better. But yeah, I saw Dr. Brad and we did CNSR, which I cannot say exactly what it is. <laughs> Cerebral <laughs> something. Um, and uh, that definitely gave me a relief and I would find myself calling to get in to have um, CNSR. I needed that. It was very important in the beginning. And um, I did acupuncture twice a week and herbs, which, oh, and Dr. Wells can listen like nobody else. Oh my goodness. And, and he would let me curse and tell me, yeah, this is really messed up. Like no one should have to go through this torture, which I needed to hear so much because because of how it was affecting me, I felt a lot of guilt and shame that I had somehow brought this on myself, which looking back, you know, I just have a tendency to do that in my life. Um, but it's, it's absolute insanity to think that I would have brought this physical illness on myself by any sort of behavior, you know? Um, no, no one deserves that. So yeah, and I saw uh, Sue as well, who is the most therapeutic woman I've ever met. She just sits and listens and I cried more than I think I've ever cried in my life on her couch. So um, very, very helpful. And just that, that grabbing at hope of this is going to get better and better and better. Um, and I did start sleeping by December, I'd say a couple of months, I would get two to three hours a night. And then um, in January, I started messing with my diet. I mean, I wasn't really eating for months, but um, I started uh, really messing with things. And that has been crazy. By messing with things, you mean like? Taking all sorts of things out. Experimenting with your food to figure <laughs> out what's contributing to inflammation in yes, your body? Yes, exactly. So um, having had Dr. Brad say this is, he feels like this is an infl inflammatory response. Um, to me, that said food. I was like the food that, you know, um, more important what doesn't go into my body. And so, um, yeah, we've been on this big journey since then of figuring that all out. And it's getting better and better. Mm -hmm. This week has been nuts how good it's been getting. So, yeah, I'm feeling very, very hopeful. <laughs>